This is Matt from Dice the Round Table. Thanks for joining me for another unboxing. This time it's going to be the USS Idaho for Victory at Sea. Um, so this will be next up on the project I got. And let's go in and break the plastic. It does say this has the World of Warship premium content on it. That was something with the initial release. So this must be a leftover box from that. So I'll see what's in it. I haven't opened any boxes that included that content. So uh, there is a code, how to redeem, download, play one game, then go to this code. And only one invite code can be used per account. So eh, I can give it a try. I do play the game a little bit. So this is the ship card and damage markers. Uh, information about the resin kit. Uh, directions on the assembly. Um, oh, it even gives a painting guide on this one. Interesting. Armor painting on Vallejo. Ah, very interesting. Oh, for the ocean. So this is the USS Idaho, which is a New Mexico class battleship. So I'm going to have to... Interesting. So... Ships in class, Idaho, Mississippi, New Mexico. So I could use it as the battleship New Mexico or go to the back and I have to modify it based on the points back here. So the I let's take a look at the ship. That's disappointing. If I bought the Idaho, I would have wanted the card to match the Idaho you gave me. Um, so one side it says the New Mexico class battleship. Here, the other side says Idaho 1945. So, in fact, the Idaho 1945 is 70 points more, which will put this at like 465 points. Um, it has advanced ra radar. The light guns get changed with light guns times 10. And the ranges change. So, instead of having 8 light guns... It has 10 re replaced remaining light guns with, but it has light guns 12 and 8. Interesting. So I'm assuming the 12 light guns turns into 10 light guns, 4, 8, 12 for range. 4, 9, 13, 18. So the ranges change up a little bit. So... Bear in mind, if you buy a specifically named battleship, you will not get the card that matches. You'll get the class card, and then you'll have to make the modifications as you see fit. So, but the ship is flat. I'm very happy. Um, very little flashing to take care of. And, of course, your traditional flashing on the metal parts, which is all on here. Everything looks good. Me for the unboxing on the USS Idaho. Hope it was informative. And I will have pictures up on Facebook as soon as I get these finished, assembled, cleaned up, and painted. So thanks for tuning in.